It was former Felda Chairman Tan Sri Isa Abdul Samad and one of the agency's general managers who granted power of attorney or PA to a company involved in the Jalan Semarak land deal. Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Datuk Razali Ibrahim, said that in Parliament on Monday in reply to a supplementary question from Indra Mahkota MP, Datuk Fauzi Abdul Rahman, during question time. Uh, PA tersebut ditandatangani oleh uh, pengurusi Felda ketika itu dan uh, pengurus besar eh, yang menandatangani. Uh, ini bukan soal untuk saya mengatakan siapa betul, siapa salah kerana siasatan masih berlangsung. Saya sebut tadi ada banyak sure sebenarnya ataupun penemuan yang didapati oleh uh, forensik auditing. Uh, cumanya menjawab soalan yang ditanya, saya jawab siapa yang keluarkan PA atau yang menandatangani. Prosedur tentang semua dokumen, 240 dokumen minit mesyuarat lembaga uh, telah pun diambil uh, dalam melengkapkan siasatan. Fauzi had asked the federal government to reveal who had issued the PA to a company in an alleged dubious land transaction involving 16 plots of land in Jalan Samara. Last week, Felda Chairman Tan Sri Shahrir Abdul Samad said the agency had regained ownership of all 16 plots of land in Jalan Samara from Synergy Promenade Sendirian Berhad or SPSB. The ownership transfer of the land took place when Felda Investment Corporation Sendirian Berhad appointed SPSB as its main developer on June 3, 2014 and granted it PA to develop the land. According to Felda Records, the PA was granted on June 3, 2014 but was only reported to the board on September 2, the same year. Isa Samad was Felda chairman from 2011 until January last year. Felda Global Ventures holding Berhad chairman from January 1, 2011 to June 19, 2017. And FIC chairman since its inception from July 2, 2013. Police are currently investigating the case under Section 420 of the Penal Code. Razali urged all parties not to politicise the issue, including allegations that it will be superseded by strata titles in the long run. Kita tahu tanah itu akan diagih-agihkan secara strata. Cuma yang paling mustahak yang berhormat kena bantu beritahu ke orang lain. Dalam membangunkan projek, kita doa dia berjaya. Tapi kalau dalam tempoh tahun-tahun pembinaan, syarikat yang dilantik gagal ataupun winding up gulung tika mana lebih baik dia gulung tika dengan tanah sekali dia bawa atau dia gulung tika tanah masih berada di pihak Felda bagi kita cari syarikat yang baru he also noted that he could not reveal the full finding of the forensic audit report involving 240 documents as it had been submitted to the police and the Malaysian anti-corruption commission MACC to assist investigations